today we will explore a common front end interview question like how to remove array duplicates in javascript okay so in this video we'll dive into various methods to effectively eliminate duplicate elements from javascript arrays okay the issue of duplicate elements in arrays is a common challenge in web development duplicates can lead to unexpected behavior and inefficiency in your code let's explore some solutions okay so the method one is using set data structure okay one of the simplest and most effective methods is to use a set okay so let's see how it works okay from a coding perspective so here's our code you can see right over here that okay we have an array which is like one two two three four four five okay it has like duplicates two is duplicated and four is duplicated okay so now we are creating a constant like unique array and we can just provide in a spread operator and then new and then set okay and then we can pass the array into this function so now it will just uh, remove the duplicates and then assign it to the unique array okay so if we just run this thing, so you can see right over here that how it's working. Okay, so I can just add something else like nine, zero, maybe four another time. And if I just try to run this thing again, there you see one, two, three, four, nine, oh, five. Okay, so the new set method automatically removes the duplicate from an array. Okay, so the second one we can use like a, a for loop to do that as well okay so now if i just try to uh, give you another example uh, you can see that const array i have an array okay one double two three double four five and i have just created a unique array which is an empty one you can see right over here so i'm using a for loop for const item of arrays okay so what i'm doing is that for every item i'm checking if this item is already present inside of this unique array okay if it is present i'm doing nothing and if it is not i'm just pushing the item okay uh, into the unique arrays so what it will do first one will come here so the array is empty so it will be pushed then the two will come and will be pushed then this two will be discarded okay Similarly, three will be pushed, four will be pushed, and this four will be discarded, and five will be pushed, okay? So, it will make my array unique. So, you can see right over here, okay? Okay, the third method is using filter and index of, okay? So, if I just try to give you the example, you can see right over here that const array, it is the similar array, you can see. Then, I have a unique array, like array.filter, like item, comma, index, then the arrow function then here is an arrow like array dot index of item equal equals index okay so what this line is doing okay this line creates a new array like unique array you can see right over here using the filter method the filter method iterates through like each element of the array like item comma index okay for each element it checks if the index of the first occurrence of element in the array is equal to the current index you can see right over here okay then what does the filter function do the filter method iterates through each element of the array you can see right over here okay then what it does for each element it executes the provided callback function okay this one is the callback function the callback function takes two parameters like item the current element and the index the index of the current element in the array inside the call function it uses index of like here you can see okay to find the index of the first occurrence of the item in the array it compares this index with the current index and if they are same it means that the current element is the first occurrence of the value in the array okay so when we run this thing so it will also provide me with the unique array you can see right over here okay so another method is that we can use a reduce function okay so we already have like studied about reduce function in previous videos okay so what it does it's taking like accumulator and current and by using the callback function if accumulator dot uh, includes current okay similar situation and uh, that accumulator dot push current otherwise it will not do anything what it will do the accumulator will take the uh, array elements one by one and it will check uh, whether it is included okay if it's not included 
then it will push otherwise it will discard it okay so it will also give me the same result so array duplication removal is a common task in javascript you can choose from various methods uh, using a set a for loop filter index of or the reduce function okay it's essential to understand these methods as they are frequently used in front-end development all right so that's it for today's video on removing array duplicates in javascript i hope you like this one thank you so much for watching and i shall catch you up in some other lecture till then have a good day bye